iCoustic, creating quieter spaces together. There's a couple of issues that arise without using soundproofing. Um, they can be quite different depending on, on who the party is. The person that lives in a dwelling with no soundproofing will experience excess noise, which can make for um, a, a, a much less comfortable life. You can hear and you can follow people around the room. You can hear where they are in the house following them around. You can hear each other's TVs, especially when the soaps come on, you hear the do, 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 do. Um, so you know exactly what's happening upstairs and it's not great. You need a bit of privacy in your life. If you're the, the builder, the developer of the property and you don't use soundproofing, you may find that you don't adhere to the building regulations. That's a legal requirement and quite a costly fix if you don't do it right first time. One question that comes up about soundproofing quite a lot is the difference between airborne and impact sound. Um, so typically airborne sound is any sound that's passed through the air before it goes into a material or a partition. Uh, so examples of that would be people talking, TV, music, uh, like the radio. Uh, impact sound is more of a direct um, sort of vibration on the floor, so that would typically be someone walking around if you imagine footsteps on a hard wood surface, um, and that can cause a lot of issues for uh, rooms below or, or properties and uh, apartments and flats and such. The way we go around specifying a particular product will be based on the customer's needs, um, whether it's airborne sound, impact sound, sound travelling up or sound going down. The noise issue, the construction type, um, floor covering being used, see a selection of flooring samples here, some will be suited to certain floor finishes and some will be able to accept the wider variety of floor finishes. That will all help us to uh, find the best product that's going to give you the most reduction in sound. Uh, but fit within your project and requirements as well. The common mistakes we see with soundproofing uh, would be people thinking all the materials are fairly equal because it's branded as soundproofing. Um, so laying something really thin down on the floor uh, might not be suitable to what the issues are with your particular project. One of the most common mistakes is not sealing the floor to start with. Um, it's really important, so with the airborne sound hitting the floor, it can only reduce it when it is fully airtight. If you think about when your car window is open, that sound will come through, and most of the sound will come through, all the way up until the last millimetre. And until that last millimetre is sealed, it won't reduce the sound. But as soon as it is sealed, the sound is being reduced. Uh, one of the most common mistakes would be to use a thin carpet underlay um, as it comes with a, a decibel reduction that you'll find on a, on a data sheet and assume that that's for all types of sound when it, it just isn't the case. A very lightweight, thin underlay can't do anything for airborne sound. So the mute mat range is our range of flooring based products. Um, our other ranges are obviously mute clip um, and for ceiling and wall soundproofing. Uh, but for the floors, uh, our mute mat range will cover all uh, requirements and, and needs really. So the mute mats tend to be on top of the chipboard or on top of the concrete floor. Uh, you have other products such as the isolation strips, the perimeter flanking bands, uh, tech sound. So there's lots of the things that are included in the mute mat systems on the website. However, the mute mats are the rubber underlays and the foam and mass loaded vinyl underlays that we supply. We know that the IQ stick products will work used in the right application because they're backed by test data. We've been in the business for over 10 years now, uh, so the, the information and the knowledge we've built up over the years, uh, we know our systems work and for each situation we've encountered, uh, we know what we would recommend for that and we know it, it does the job. There's a lot of science behind soundproofing, um, so understanding the science behind the vibration dampening, the separated mass, um, deflection and how all that reduces sound um, helps me understand how IQ6 products work. Products can be tested in the field, so um, a site test or a site measurement, and products can be tested in a laboratory.
iCoustic, creating quieter spaces together.